What's up guys, welcome to Interbike 2018. We're going indoors now, let's go see what's new. Walking by the McGurr booth, just spotted this brand new Eminent Cycles 29er. Don't know the travel numbers on it. It does use Eminent's AFS, that's Active Float Suspension Design. Um, active Float System Suspension Design. So you can see the shock there, we got a nice long extender. It is protected now by a guard to keep, keep the dust and muck off. Uh, some really interesting things that I'm noting here. Got an integrated C-clamp inside of there. Eminence kind of bold styling. Really digging the, the orange highlights on this. Pretty freaking sick. So one of the key things about AFS suspension design is that it helps the ride in several ways. Essentially the, the shock floats uh, between the top and bottom linkages and it sees fewer side loads as the frame flexes which helps reduce bushing bind and ultimately makes a smoother ride. Now you can ride bikes on water. ODI and the Census have teamed up on another grip. You'll really appreciate this one if you have huge hands. This new grip's huge. Very large diameter compared to the standard Census Swayze lock-on has a bit of a star pattern going on on the inside flange there area. Some added traction in that direction. Has ribs in both directions around the entire grip. So that's gonna provide both twist and side to side support as well as some added comfort. And then a single lock on on the inside of the grip. This one was requested specifically, we believe, by none other than big man Kyle Strait himself. Check it out. <laughs> All right guys, we're introducing you to the Ride Concepts booth. It's a new shoe brand for 2019 and they are launching with a ton of models. We actually have 14 different models in the lineup and that includes specific models for men, women, and children. And they've actually gone in, made specific lasts for each, uh, specific flex characteristics, etc. So you're gonna find a nice shoe that fits your purpose, uh, your riding style, and, uh, and who you are as a rider. So one shoe that I would like to introduce you guys to is the Men's TNT. So this is their highest grip shoe. They have three different rubber compounds, and this one offers a ton of grip. So this is their softest rubber. Uh, it's gonna be the least durable, but it is gonna allow the most grip on the shoe. This is a full-on gravity shoe. It offers a lot of support in the heel area, or excuse me. It offers a lot of support in the arch area for those big impacts. There is a D3O material inside the shoe on the sides here and then as on the insole as well and what that d3o does is it basically hardens on impacts so if you have a really hard landing if you smack the side of your shoe say on your crank or a rock or whatever it might be you're going to have some support the toe is also a very nice firm rubber so if you smash your toe on something hopefully it'll protect you the inspiration behind ride concepts actually started when the founder was, was looking for a shoe for his kid and just couldn't find a really good option. And that was the impetus for this brand. The rubber on the shoes is made by a company called Rubber Kinetics. And again, they do offer a soft, medium, and hard varieties. Rubber Kinetics is a company that has worked with Goodyear tires on their rubber. Another shoe I'd like to introduce you guys to is the men's transition shoe, and there is a women's version as well with a different name. It's a clipless shoe, uses a firmer rubber on the bottom for improved durability when you're clipping in and out of your pedals. You'll notice a nice wide cleat pocket, so that's, that's a 40 millimeter wide cleat pocket, and it's ramped on the edges, which just basically is going to allow for a nice smooth entry time and time again. There's plenty of support on the sides. You'll notice some deeper lugs on the front here just to get some traction when you're off the bike and hiking through stuff. There's deeper lugs on the heel as well. This shoe is uh, a seamless design, so everything is bonded. So it's gonna, really nice watertight design, ultra sleek. Yeah. 
centipede bike. <laughs> Let's just geek out over this Hope HB160 in front of us. I'm gonna zoom in on the carbon layout, which looks just incredible. A nice black on black design showing through. Complemented by a proper number of purple components, as you could expect from Hope. But they, man, do they look good when they all come together. This bike has an incredibly narrow rear end. And you'll notice there's not really a way to adjust that caliper very much. And the reason is, is because the bike is made by Hope. They know their tolerances. They know what's going to work well and what's not going to work well. If you guys have ever wondered what Hope's master cylinders start out looking like before they're machined, take a look at this guy. That turns into that during a CNC process that lasts around 50 minutes. You can check out their hubs as well. These take around 12 minutes of machine time to create. And they begin as what you see on the left. It's raw material, baby. A variety of new tools from Park for 2019, including several multi-tools. Uh, this guy, I tell you what, the MT MTC40 has a bit of everything going on. It has a full-size chain breaker, as you can see there. It has a place to store a CO2 inflation head, that black deal right there. And uh, man, you're gonna get plenty of leverage with the multi-tool out of this one. Also new from Park Tool are these pretty kick-ass tool cases. So on the left, we have the BX3. So that's really nice for the traveling mechanic that wants to be able to take all the tools with them and a nice display. There's also an aluminum version right next to it here called the BX 2.2. So this one's gonna be a little bit lighter, a little bit more compact, but a very protective, neat little case for all your goodies. Damn, she's a beefcake. But that fork though. Patrol has some pretty cool new kids bikes called the 016 and the 020. We're checking out the 020 here. This one has 20 inch wheels and they've worked with V Tire Co. to come up with a decent tread design for just a small diameter. Um, these look like pretty proper little mountain bikes. You can check out some of the colors here. How sick are the little 016 bikes? So the 016 slots in at $299, while the 020 comes in at $599. Patrol definitely went through the effort to create not just a kid's bike, but a, but a bike that actually fits kids in a lot of ways. There aren't many mountain bike options of this size out there. And it's cool to see more. All new e-dirt bike coming at you. It's got a kickstand and everything. So Thompson is launching a new line of Cerakoted stems and seat posts. They're gonna begin with some longer stems from 90 to 120 millimeter length. And they've also got a 27-2 seat post. The coating is said to be very durable, more durable than an anodization process, and has been used in other applications from military to engines as well. <laughs> okay, we're checking out the new Jekyll 2.9. This bike was available in 27.5 previously, and just recently they launched another 29 inch version. Uh, the bike has 150 millimeters of travel front and rear, but with the use of that cable remote there, you can actually modify the rear shock to bring it down to 120 millimeters of travel. The shock is made in collaboration with Fox, and it's called the Gemini. It's built around the Float DPX2 chassis with some modifications designed by Cannondale. You'll note room for bottle inside the main triangle, which was a big goal as they were going to design this. The bike has internal cable routing through the head tube, nice and clean right there through those ports you can see. 
And uh, you've likely seen Mike or Marco Osborne out on the EWS circuit just raging this machine. Canada also recently launched the FSI. This is the XC rider's dream, nice and lightweight. And what makes it really exciting is they've got the new Lefty Ocho Carbon Fork. So it's Cannondale's left-handed fork design. Um, it has 100 millimeters of travel, 29 inches. And uh, the way that they achieve this, the damping inside is called the chamber damper. There is a cable lockout and it has a tapered steer tube as well as a 55 millimeter offset. It's ultra lightweight fork made for an ultra lightweight race machine. Ultra clean seat post integration. You can see there's no clamp. Very clean. Made available just recently in July is the Scalpel SE. This bike takes Cannondale's Scalpel platform and basically turns it into a trail slayer. Uh, so for the guys that are looking for XC efficiency, a little bit of extra added travel and comfort, this could be a good option. The bike has 120 millimeters up front via the Fox step cast fork. It's a 34. It's an air sprung fork. And then out back, you're looking at 115 millimeters of travel. And that's delivered in conjunction with that carbon link that you guys see right there. Really nice package all together. Really dig how the shock is tucked up into the top tube. And uh, really nice clean look on this guy. The bike is mated with Cannondale's new down low dropper post. Bringing a bit of extra capability. Uh, and just clearance when you're on those downs. So I love good drop of foot. Just out of motor. You two can have a bike brand on an interbike. Canadian based Whistler Performance Lubes is launching a new dry chain lube. So this one's taking a little while for them to come up with the perfect formulation. All Whistler performance lubes are biodegradable, TEF-free, non-toxic. Uh, you'd be amazed how much chain lube actually gets wiped off your chain into the environment. And these guys are conscious of that and making a product that, that works well without doing that. Maybe in my ways, if you want to try to figure out something like that. But what you do, being a sales marketing guy, you need to adapt it to work with other brands. It's a very viscous, wow, incredibly slippery lube. Oakley's going big in the mountain bike world in 2019 with a full range of apparel, and they also have a new half shell helmet. We showed this to you guys first at Eurobike, but wanted to take the opportunity to show you a few of the features in video form. You can see how it holds glasses up there. The retention system's really easy to open and close. It actually latches around the uh, sunglasses so they won't fall off while you're riding. The helmet is MIPS equipped. Features a twist lock on the back to adjust sizing pretty quickly. And comes in a variety of really nice, subtle shades. DH Fort, steepest head angle. Okay guys, we're taking a look at 100%'s latest designs. So you're seeing a lot of new colors in the goggles. Even got a, a roll off system for those really nasty days. Really nasty. Or if you're a moto guy. On the apparel side, you see a couple of fresh designs. 
nice clean trail apparel. And then in the gloves, we've got a couple new things. Uh, so first off is a revamped Airmatic glove. So they've got some new materials and they've worked on the cuff as well to make it just sit a little cleaner on your wrist. And then we're also seeing the new Cognito glove. So this glove has D3O in the knuckles. If you're prone to smacking trees, rocks, whatever it might be, that one could be a really good option for you. Nice Velcro clasp, nice and clean. Really deep cup, so that's gonna keep a lot of dirt out. It's like a really nice protective glove there. Pit bike row. Walking by Alpine Stars, and what do we see? A brand new half shell for 2019. So this is called the Vector Helmet. The helmet will not be available until next year. Aerodynamics were a goal when Alpine Stars set out to create the Vector. Uh, the helmet is compatible with goggles up front. If you want to lift a visor to do that. And you'll notice inside of here, there are a ton of very large vents. So we have a massive one right at the front of your head, as well as two on the sides. So those two on the sides are specifically designed to hold your eyewear. This one in the front, well, that one's meant to cool you off. The helmet is adjustable using this dial in the back. And it cinches around your head. It's available in MIPS and non-MIPS versions. Check out the Alpine Stars apparel lineup. Lots of new colors, styles for men, women, and the Groms. This is the Alpine Stars Bionic Plus Protection Vest. Really dig the look of this guy. Looks like you can breathe quite well with all the holes in it. It does have a large kidney belt style protector on the side. You can pull these tabs to tighten things up. The vest is compatible with Alpine Stars BNS style neck guard which you can attach using the hooks there. And it's got a nice back plate that works with it as well. Really sleek, really form-fitting, very modern take on upper body protection.